few. Wrong. Hit her in the, <laughs> hit her in the head just the right no, time. No, it's ejaculate in her eye and kick her in the shin. And she walks around like, argh, it's the angry pirate. No, no, That's no. what she was he trying said, to say. A violent act of hitting her in the back of her head, her body. I've never heard that before. <laughs> Today, I get to watch the legendary Patrice O'Neill go up against some feminists. I love a good debate. Let's get into it. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way, you can stay up to date whenever I post. All right? So, like the video, subscribe. Don't do me like that. All right? Let's go ahead and get, get into it. So, next up on the chopping block, XM Satellite Radio DJs Opie and Anthony. They're under fire now for airing joking comments about raping... Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, will they be the next to go? Is radio cleaning house after the IMUS debacle? With me now, new city president, now new city president. You could tell this is like super, super duper old. Sonia Osario. I mean, rest in peace to uh, Patrice O'Neill. I never got to check out all of his content, but so far, everything that I've seen from him, uh, he's extremely funny. Extremely funny, and um, especially in interviews and debates. So that's why I, I, I didn't get to check this out. I'm loving this. She took part in a recent protest calling for radio stations to so stop supporting negative language in music and talk radio. And also, our favorite stand up comic, Patrice O'Neill. Oh, thank you, sir. Patrice, uh, are ONA next? I hope not. I hope JV, I wish JV and Elvis didn't lose their job or Imus. It's funny. This is the thing. I, I have, I don't know her but I'm, a, I'm assuming that she has nothing to do with funny so I'm gonna speak as the expert on funny funny people should just be left to try to be funny what if, what if they're not funny? I agree then you made a mistake but how many listen how many times has an unfunny how many f unfunny rape jokes lead to rape like so, I don't know how many jokes about rape there are there's a lot but your your world is not funny. Your world is uh, next <laughs> next on the big story. My world is people trying to be funny. Well, I mean, you you think it's okay to try to make jokes about rape? I'm diabetic. I make fun of that. I'm a victim. Right. You know, I I also get that in the comments. You know, one thing I don't understand is people who don't get humor. Okay. Well, I I, I get it. Just like there's people who don't understand sarcasm. You ever met someone who doesn't stand, understand sarcasm? So you'll say something and they'll take it literal and it just drives you insane. Like I was being sarcastic. I'm not being serious. And that's, it's the same with people who also don't understand humor. Uh, they're the type of people that get offended at comedy shows or don't know when you're telling a joke. Um, so yeah, that's, they, like I said, their world is not comedy. I might lose a toe. But I'm trying to make fun of. I'm trying to make fun of anything I I think I can make fun of. Sonia, right. you know, what's happening now is the marketplace. Okay, is deciding what's appropriate or what's not appropriate. It's. I think the nation is just tired. There's a new mood in the nation. What nation? The nation. You know what? We're tired of things that is are just. Is this the nation? This paper and you? I'm not, I'm not the nation. I'm just speaking for me and right. funny. You're speaking for and it was crazy. These words are not, are not more prevalent, even more now. They're really coming at comedians, and they're really censoring everything now. This is supposed to be the land of free speech. I live in the United States, and, uh, you know, now people are just getting censored left and right, so everybody just has to say one thing that we all agree on. It's just, I don't, it, it's crazy. The nation, or are you speaking for? Yeah, you know why? Because I remember six years ago doing a something against Anthony Openey because they were just so outrageous and their violent images to that you. they put out to women was just uncalled for. And now, now, I think people... You think they were trying to be funny? I think now people in Do this country are tired. Do you think they were trying to be funny? Tired. You know what? I don't care if they were trying to be funny. That oh, my God. I don't care if they were trying to be funny. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say. She's not even listening. She doesn't. She's not trying to take an L here. So I'm saying, why something. are you Jeez. in that business? I've been to your show once, and it wasn't very funny. Being a woman, it was in your hilarious. Show, when you talked about, that's why she doesn't like me. I was in the paper with her, and the joke is hilarious. Called the Angry Pirate, and the lady who wrote it in, in her outrage didn't even know what it meant, and anybody who read it laughed because they know what funny. You're not living in the context of funny. You're living All in the context of have, fire. Have every right to be as funny as they want. They can go out and try to be as funny as they want, make as much funny, make as much money being as funny as they want. This is what's happening. 
There is a change in this country. People are realizing they it's have an opportunity to speak out. And advertisers are listening. You're Radio not talking. stations you're are not listening. Talking. You're, Sonia, you're not and, talking. and what's crazy is, is, I think there was a talk show. I can't remember the name of the talk show, but I know it had Ozzy, Ozzy's wife on there. And there was a man who's... Whose, whose privates got chopped off. I guess a woman had put it in the garbage disposal and all the women on the show laughed. And I remember thinking if they had said that, if that was the other way around about women, that show would have gotten canceled. Uh, so it's just... It's just like a pick and choose that we got going on now, and it's crazy that it's gotten so much worse. To who I talk and to, you're not going to get paid as much money anymore. Sonia and Patrice, that's look what at it this. is. The marketplace more is CBS speaking. radio firings. They've been on the they've been on a tear lately. All right. Are they cleaning house, or is this the PC cops run amok? You know what it is, John. You know what it is. while you're reading that paper? It's the PC cops run amok. Do well, you think Who's she's a PC, PC cop? cop? Of course she is. She's she has an entire encyclopedia of, of her stance on it, but it's no passion involved. It's not a real, this is just what she has to say. We are outraged and oh, fired and fired and fired. <laughs> Name calling. I'm outraged. I am I'm, outraged. You should be. You should be out I, I love this cat, man. I, I am a fool. Now, if I called you a fool, ah! You know what? People are feeling a new sense of entitlement Who are these to people? decency in this country. Who are the people? A new How can sense you, of entitlement Patrice, so here's to what, decency. Here's my question. How can you justify a bad joke, a joke that isn't funny? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a Go minute. ahead. An attempt that, that isn't funny, doesn't get any laughs, and is about raping a the first black woman to ever become the Secretary of State well, of the United States. Don't throw that at me. Well, the, why not? The, the attempt is what I'm trying to fight for. The joke may or may, funny jokes and unfunny jokes are, are come out of the same birth. That's right, it's it's the person intended. It's just like, uh, what is it, Capital One murder or whatever, like if the intent is there, you're gonna get way more time, you and know? You, you don't know if anything is gonna be funny. You should attempt don't to be you, able to make anything funny. Is it first degree? I don't know, I mean, but I think you guys know what I mean, but. It's what it's what, what what were your intentions is basically what he's saying. They're not trying to offend you. They're there to entertain you. OK, you think a joke about rape is doomed to be not funny. It's possible. But I've heard him. I've heard you've em. heard a funny rape joke. Uh, I say a couple. Watch my HBO <laughs> special. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, Patrice, Patrice says that. I love the honesty. If you're having sex with a woman, doggy style, and if you wrong. hit her in the hit her in the head just the right. Uh, he hit her with the Trump wrong. <laughs> says that if you're having sex with a woman, doggy style, and if you wrong. Hit her, in the, hit her in the head just the right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, there's this meme of Trump where he goes wrong, wrong, and it's just it's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> says that if you're having sex with a woman, doggy style, and if you wrong hit her in the hit her in the head just the right <laughs> no, time. No, it's ejaculate in her eye and kick her in the shin, and she walks around like arg. It's the angry pirate. No, no, that's no. what she was he trying said to say. A violent act of hitting her in the back of her head, her body. I never heard that before. <laughs> I never heard that before. That is. That is wild, man. Hit her in the head just the right no, time. No, it's ejaculate in her eye and kick her in the shin. Yeah. And she walks yeah. around no, like, no, no. it's the angry pirate. No, no, That's no. what she was he trying to say. A violent act. I'm sorry. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> the boy was a master. He's just naturally funny, even when he's just talking. Hitting her in the back of her head, her body. It's called the donkey up, punch. Which will then. <laughs> Why are you laughing? She's outraged. It's called the dumping punch. It's called humor that she has no Here, clue what it is. The same problem that Opie and Anthony does. You can't oh, say man. just anything on the air. You can't say. Hey, he wants to laugh so bad. Yeah. Anything you want, it might not be funny. You might get in trouble for it, but you should <laughs> be able to be attempted. And plus, when is a crazy bum going to get an opportunity to rape the president? If the, the president's wife, John? Why it was trying to be funny. All right, Patrice, why aren't I... Oh, my God, this is gold. ...hearing Al Sharpton <laughs> complain about this thing involving... Because it wasn't involving uh, young uh, black women. Well, it was involving a very prominent black woman. Well, where was she during during young black... Everybody has their agenda. I was there. I was there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, excuse me. You but know why I'm... am I not hearing from Sharpton? Because it doesn't concern him. 
It's not concerning him. It's black. It's, you know, come on now. You know Al, ha Al Sharpton has his agenda. This is when Al Sharpton was a big old boy. And it was perfect for Al. Young black women. And now she's representing just women in general. She's not representing the nappy hoe part. She's well, representing the just the hoe. The nappy-headed part, she has nothing to do with. Just the hoe. <laughs> so, yeah. You know what? <laughs> women have been abused publicly in oh the media. Oh, my God. Rest in peace, Patrice O'Neill, man. We're going before to... If he was still alive today, I think that he would be <sighs> right there with Bill Burr and Dave Chappelle, man, you know. For too long, and people are tired of it. This has been a beautiful response of just the general public saying to advertisers, we're your consumers. We don't want to have to avoid everything in the street. We don't want to have to worry about what radio station we turn on. And there is some really derogatory, violent You're going to thing get to all deal your with. Information, uh, ma'am, is secondhand from someone making you uh, aware that someone may have said something that you should be upset about. It's a shame. Your constituency, the, the people you represent aren't all victims in I this matter. Go. Patricia O'Neill, thank you very much. That, Sonia, Patrice, sorry. Oh, thanks to both of you. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Time for big oh, politics. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't want I didn't want that to end. Hold on here. That was good, man. Patrice O'Neill was just masterful. Just when he was talking, if you got to be friends with Patrice O'Neill, man, man, oh man, oh man. Um, this was fun. Uh, shout out to the person that requested I check that out. Uh, I definitely want to check out other stuff from Patrice O'Neill. Uh, let me know what else I should check out. What do you guys like out there? Podcast or comedy like? Let me know in the comments or on Patreon. All the links to support the page below in the description. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace. <laughs>